Hey everybody, this is Richard. Um, I know that you probably thought, what's Richard doing here? But um, I'm still at work uh, and Michael is over there packing, so we're going to check in on him in just a little bit. But, but um, you know, I'm going to be manning the fort here. This is the headquarters, and so I'll be checking in on Michael as he takes his trip. But, um, but before he leaves, and, and actually he has his, uh, he's going to have a video out coming out uh, I think Thursday kind of packing the car and heading out you know so um, but um, but we'll have you know continued content for you because we really want you to be part of this journey with us and so like I said this is going to be the headquarters and um, I'm going to be doing some navigational work for Michael um, so I'll be checking in on Google Earth for him um, he's going to be bringing a is larger laptop but you know because of Wi-Fi issues you know you just never know I mean even with his uh, phone I mean so I'm, I'll be helping him providing support so because um, I can't go out myself because of an injury I have but I did want to talk to you about a place that because um, you know, Michael's gonna be going out mid-August back again if he has to I guess he could always it could always just end up being a fun trip where he goes and visits the Red River and the, uh, the hot springs along the Rio Grande and all of that. But, um, but I wanted to have another uh, area for him to search. And so what I'm looking at is the, the Valley Calderas area. Um, again, it's kind of like if you're, if you're thinking of like a large area, you know, begin it where warm water is halt. Now, not being, you know, just any old hot spring or any old type of thing. You know what I've been doing is trying to find these um, these areas that that seem to make sense. You know, and uh, the Valley Calderas, as we'll see in just a second, I mean it's a large area, and so it's a matter of then finding, you know, and I know it's been searched quite a bit, but it's a matter of then finding, you know, what is a potential canyon down, um, you know, is there a home of brown, you know, that that could be made out on the map. I found one. I found um, there's actually it was a dome fire back in 1996, I believe. But um, there's a uh, St. Peter's Dome, and there's a canyon. But I'm not sure if there's a road that goes through it. But we'll take a look in just a second. Let's go check in with Michael and see what he's up to. Hey everybody, I'm just packing. You know, one of the problems. I mean, and it takes me longer and longer to do this, but. The problem is always, you know, I mean, I got my backpack all situated. I mean, you know, we packed that a few, several weeks ago. Um, but now it's a matter of like figuring out, okay, what kind of camera should I take? I mean, um, I might be doing some interviews on the street and then it's a matter of like, um, you know, sometimes if you're in a noisy area, you know, you want to have a microphone. So um, I have my microphone. Um, it's like a shotgun microphone. Um, I got my GoPro. Uh, so I'm going to be doing, I, I've tested it out. I'm going to be taking some pictures. Uh, this is my windshield apparatus. So I'll be able to get pictures of me driving through like the mountains and different things. Uh, this really takes great pictures for, for that type of thing. Um, and then, you know, I had to buy some extra batteries for that, of course. Um, and then I had to decide, you know, okay, what laptop am I going to bring? Um, I decided to bring my bigger laptop. Um, I just use a HP one. Um, so, you know, then with that, of course, it's a power cord, and then, you know, I got a wireless mic for that. Um, I've decided, you know, I would bring my nice camera. This is a Canon 6D. It's a full frame camera. I have a kind of a couple different lenses that I'll use. That way I can get some really nice pictures, but I'm not going to be bringing this out on the trail with me um, because it's just it's just too much. Um, I'm going to be bringing a video camera, and then also I have this uh, this trail camera, which works really well. The problem is that I lost the charger. You know, um, I probably left it up in the North Woods, but anyway. So hopefully today uh, my charger will come for this. It's not really good without having a battery or a charger. But then of course, then I got batteries for everything. 
I got, uh, you know, so it's just a lot, a lot of work. Um, I am um, bringing kind of lighting. So, you know, I'll be filming some from my hotel room. So I got some lights. Um, and so a lot of it is laying it all out here, you know, making sure I have everything. And then that way I can, I don't have to rush at the end. I mean, I still got two days, but um, anyways, but I will be doing just something small. I'm going to put some footage of me packing the car uh, Thursday. To, Thursday, I'll be picking up the rental car and then I'm going to be packing it up and then leaving at 4 a.m. Friday. So, but um, I feel good that Richard's going to be in the house, you know, in headquarters, uh, kind of working with me to provide navigational satellite imagery and whatever else I need. So, anyways, you guys take care. We'll see you soon. So I want to take a look real quick at um, the Valley's Caldera. You know, if you look at it in relation to Santa Fe, I mean, it's a really big spot here. Um, so, you know, you can kind of see, I mean, it's just a large section. So when you think about where, begin at where warm waters halt, you know, maybe it is kind of, I mean, this is kind of more of a circle, but then you have to ask yourself, you know, where would the canyon down be? So this is Gemma's Springs. I mean, that's a popular spot, you know, for searching. There's Battleship Rock is over here. Um, I had found, uh, you know, actually it was called St. Peter's Dome. And there was actually a dome fire back in 1996, right around here somewhere. Um, it might have been more over this way. Oh, here, St. Peter's Dome. So, I mean, on the map I was looking at, it seemed like there was a road, but I don't see any roads. Um, so, so I'm not sure, you know, I mean, uh, you know, somewhere there, there would be a road and, you know, I was thinking St. Peter's Dome, you know, home of Brown, kind of that religious motif. You know, here's Bandelier Trading Company. This is like a bandolier monument over here, Cochiti Lake. So I don't know, you know, I, there's something about this area that does have some promise to me. And so I think I'm gonna continue investigating this for Michael. So let me know your thoughts. You know, I mean, have you been out to Valley's Caldera? Do you have any thoughts about it? Um, you know, it's definitely, you know, a large uh, geothermal type location. Um, I think it has some promise. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Anyways, you all take care now.